Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Uh, this is an updated makeup tutorial for my Ahsoka makeup. I have changed a few things that I want to share with you guys, and I hope you guys find this helpful. So right now I'm just putting a headband on to get my hair out of my face. I sometimes put a wig cap on or put my hair in a ponytail. I did just dye my hair, so please ignore the purple splotches that you will see all over my forehead and neck. Uh, pulling up a reference image just to make sure that I can get all the little details right, depending on which version I'm doing. Make sure you have a reference picture, it's very important. And also setting up some music just to keep myself entertained while doing this. So first I'm going to be using an Elmer School glue stick and gluing down my eyebrows. This is a very common method among cosplayers and drag queens and using a spoolie to flatten those eyebrows down and I'm just going to take that glue stick and just smush it all up in there <laughs> make sure I get all of the hairs covered so that I can really make sure that they all get glued down and then once I have the hairs covered um, I will be taking that spoolie and brushing my eyebrows up and kind of flattening them out a little bit um, this glue stick that I'm using here is a little tacky, a little kind of dried out, so I do wet my spoolie a little bit just to kind of help reactivate the glue kind of because it is washable. So also find that sometimes if you just stick the tip of the glue stick underwater that also helps and can help make the glue a little easier to work with. So while that first layer of glue on my eyebrows dries, I am going to go in and work on the cheek markings. I am using Mayron Paradise Paint in White and a small angle brush. Um, yes, I know my brushes need to be cleaned off. I always forget to do that afterwards. Um, so just pulling up a reference picture again because my phone locked on me, so just unlocking and pulling that back up. I do freehand all of my markings and everything for my Ahsoka cosplays. Uh, reason being, I just have never gotten around to making a stencil. I keep meaning to and then it just never happens, so I do freehand it. Um, I don't have any issues with it. Uh, you may find that you just need a little bit more patience when doing freehand versus using a stencil, but that's, that's really it. So here we go. Here I decided that I was not liking how this cheek marking was looking, so I do just wipe it off with a damp cotton round because this is water activated, I can just easily wipe it off. Um, also real quick, I don't put any primer or anything on beforehand, mainly because I always forget <laughs> and my primer is with my regular makeup and not my cosplay makeup and those are in two separate bags. So uh, real quick, just putting another layer of glue on, just going straight over everything. Um, again, you can use water to help smooth things out and make it a little bit easier to work with if you need to. And then while that dries, just going back in and working on the cheek markings again.
So once my eyebrows are dry, I am going to go in with a pressed powder and powder them down just to kind of help smush everything in and also to show how well they're glued down so it will show how smooth they are. Um, I use a pressed powder in my skin tone so I can also use it as regular foundation if I want to. Um, so yep, looking real beautiful. And then I am going to go directly over that and do a third layer of glue just to really help smooth everything out. Um, you can do as many layers of powder and glue if, as you want until you are comfortable and happy with your result. Um, just be aware the more layers you do, the thicker it is going to be. So now while that's drying, I'm just going to go in and work on the other cheek. Alright, the other cheek is done. Not perfect, but good enough for me. So now I'm going to do a, another layer of powder on my eyebrows just to make sure I'm happy with them. And then once I am done with that, I'm going to grab my orange face paint, which is Mayron Paradise Paint in Orange. And we are going to start working on the forehead. So I'm just taking a small flat brush. I don't remember exactly what it is because the name has chipped off. So I'm drawing a line down the center of my forehead and then I am actually going to go in and draw the inside of the diamond with the orange. I found that this is a lot easier for me to get her forehead markings more symmetrical is by drawing the orange part, the orange inside of the diamond first and then going in with the white around it. So once I'm happy with that orange diamond, I'm going to grab my white face paint again and start doing the forehead markings. Uh, starting with the lines that go from the top of the diamond up to the hairline and then working my way down. So I had to change my camera battery real quick, uh, didn't make too much more progress, just did the one side of the diamond in white, and now I'm doing the other side. So now I'm going to start working on the eyebrow markings, just starting from that inner corner, I'm marking that out and drawing that line from the bottom of the diamond down to the inner corner of the eyebrow. And then I am going to fill in my eyebrow and just slowly working on filling it out until I am happy with how it looks. For anyone that's wondering, I am listening to Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dream Coat while doing this makeup, so having a real good time. Um, here I am noticing something on my ceiling. It turned out to be a fly. Uh, I know you can't see it, but I am working on the eyebrow markings. Um, I am just following the natural curve of my eyebrow. It gives me a nice guideline and then just filling it out from there. Uh, you'll see it once I start working on the other eyebrow and just curving it around my eye at the end once I get past my eyebrow.
some final touch-ups to some of these lines right here, uh, thicken a couple out, try and clean up some of the corners, and just do a little bit more futzing with it until I'm happy, and then I will work on the diamonds on her forehead. Some real useful footage right here. One diamond's on the side of the forehead you can't see and the other one is now completely covered up by my hand. Uh, you'll see it in a second. <laughs> So now that I am done and happy with the white markings, it's time to paint my face orange. I'm using a bigger flat round brush, I believe it's a foundation brush. Again, the name's chipped off so I don't know. And then just starting on my neck and working my way up. Um, I don't paint the back of the neck mainly because I don't want to deal with it. Uh, also I do my makeup by myself so it's a little bit hard for me to get to the back of the neck and Ahsoka has high collars and then the back leaker covers it so I just don't deal with it. Um, so I will use this bigger brush to do most of the orange and just get all of the big spots. I found that when working with the paint you don't want it super wet, you don't want it like dripping or anything. Um, kind of creamy is best. And then if you kind of work it into the skin a little bit, um, I find that that gives me the least amount of brush strokes and the least blotchiness. Um, I'm not an expert when it comes to face paint, so do experiment with your own face paint and find what works best for you. Um, I do find that a sponge or a beauty blender just does not work for me at all. It absorbs way too much product and just does not put down as much product and is not as efficient for me as a brush is. But I would suggest trying a couple things out by yourself and see what works best for you. So now I'm going to switch back to that smaller brush I was using earlier to fill in the smaller spaces that the big brush can't get to.
So now that I am done with all of my face paint, I am going to go in with Mayron setting powder and just powder everything down. And then after powdering it, I'm going to go in with Mayron setting spray and give everything a good spray and let it all dry. And then do the rest of my makeup. Alright, so starting off with the eyes, I am going to be doing my eyeshadow first, and I am using this e.l.f. eyeshadow palette, and using that dark reddish brown in the upper corner, I'm going to be using an eyeshadow brush and just putting that on the outer corner of my eyes and blending it in. You do have to be a little bit careful when blending powders in on top of face paint because sometimes they don't exactly like to blend in the best because face paint has a different consistency than your skin and they can kind of turn blotchy or cause the face paint to get blotchy. So I find just patting it on and then kind of blending out the edges works best for me. But again, I would suggest doing some experimenting and finding what works best for you. So switching makeup brushes, we are going to switch to that uh, really light champagne color on the upper, other upper corner and then putting that on the inner corner of my eyes and blending it all together. I'm going to put on some highlighter. I'm just using this powder highlighter I have. It was a sample I got in a makeup box forever ago and I'm just going to put it on the normal highlight spots. Um, the cheekbone, the eyebrow bone, chin, tip of your nose, cupid's bow, and just pat it out as best I can. And now I'm going to go in and do some contour using this uh, brown eyeshadow and just contouring my cheeks a little bit. Uh, do be careful here not to rub from the orange onto the white because you can rub the orange to the white and cause the orange or the white to get creamy and orangey. Um, so then contouring under my jawline and then I will go in and contour along the sides of my nose. I find that if your contour turns out a bit too heavy or a bit too dark, instead of trying to blend it out, it's easier to go in with the orange face paint again and just kind of layer it on top to kind of help lessen or lighten up that contour um, because again, the powder doesn't exactly blend out as nicely or as easily on top of the face paint because the face paint is a bit creamier. Now I'm going to go in with some red eyeshadow from that same eyeshadow palette and do just some general shading on the outside of my face. Um, this came out a bit lighter, not as noticeable as I would have liked, but I do this just to kind of help break up the orange so it's not just a solid orange and to kind of give it a little bit of variation. And then once I am done with this, I am going to go in with some yellow just on the center of my face to again try and help break up some of that orange. Um, again, it didn't come out as noticeable as I would have liked, but I do just want to kind of help break up that orange some more.
So now I am going to go in and do my eyeliner. I'm uh, just using a liquid black eyeliner and I am going to do a double wing on the top to kind of help give that illusion of the animated eyelashes that she has and then doing a wing on the bottom. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to take a black eyeshadow and a very small angle brush and put that underneath my bottom lash line. I find that using a liquid eyeliner is a bit too stark, it's a bit too harsh. So I'm going to use that eyeshadow and put that under my lash line to again give the effect of the animated eyelashes that she has. So that is everything but mascara and lipstick, and I am not going to put my mascara on first. I am going to do another round of powder and setting spray, and the reason for that is because I have gotten mascara spots all over my face before because it wasn't dried when I did the powder. So I'm going to do another round of powder and setting spray and then do my mascara. So now putting on my mascara, um, I do about three to four good coats, making sure to really get the outer corner of my eyes. I don't wear false eyelashes, mainly just because I've never worn false eyelashes before and I just keep forgetting to buy a pair and actually try them out. Uh, so putting mascara on and then I will put my contacts in. Uh, I do not wear colored contacts. Again, just never got around to actually buying colored contacts, but I do wear prescription contacts because my vision is bad enough that I need to. Now that contacts are in, I am going to go in with this white eyeliner crayon and just line my bottom waterline uh, just to give the illusion that my eyes are a little bit bigger like hers are in the animation. And then I am going to put my lipstick on. Um, I do overdraw my lips just a little bit just because she does have big lips in the animation. And then we will be done. Um, I hope you guys found this enjoyable and helpful. I will do my best to link all of the products and items that I used in the description below if you want to check those out. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!